I've been socially distancing for so long and working from home that Momo actually looks pretty good right now. Yes, it's that bad. <laughs> Hi, I'm Fast Lawyer. Today we're going to do a review for Momo.exe VR, Momo.executable VR, a game just released on the Steam Store today for the HTC Vive, Valve Index, Oculus Rift, and Windows Mixed Reality. It normally retails for $14.99. It's currently on sale 20% off. I got a free Steam key through the Steam Creator Connect program to review this game. And yes, this is based on the internet meme Momo. And there was like a suicide challenge. You do get to commit suicide in this game. But that's not the worst thing. Really, the scariest thing about this game is that it runs on the Unity engine. No, <laughs> I'm just joking. There's nothing wrong with the Unity engine. That was just a joke. Please forgive me. Anyways, yeah. Uh, Momo will give you tasks. You can either choose to go along with the task or you can die. So yeah, that's the game basically in a nutshell. Um, there's two chapters. And the first chapter didn't take me very long. I did not complete the second chapter. I kind of just gave up on this game. I really wasn't having fun. Um, it's okay. It's not the worst game I've ever played. And I was going to give it a neutral recommendation, but I, after giving it some thought, I decided I just can't recommend this game. I'm going to give it a negative recommendation. I can't even give it a neutral. And the reason for that is due to the price. So given the quality and the quantity of the content, I just don't think it justifies the $15 price tag. If it had been priced at 10 bucks, I probably would have given a neutral recommendation, but it's just, there's just not enough here. And it's just overall very janky. So you have full locomotion and you have snap turning Many of the interactions are just point and click. So you basically have this laser coming out of your hand and you press trigger and you get the item. Most interactions are very basic if they exist at all. Probably the most immersive interaction was you have to break down a door with an ax. That's not shown on this video. And that was probably the best that out interactions, but most of the interactions were, were, were just not very good. In this video, you'll see that I get asked to break down all the windows and just the VR interaction for that just wasn't very good. And you'll see this, you basically just point a click on a chair, it's glued to your hand then, and then you just do some waves and the glass breaks all around and you finish the task. And then you kind of just wake up, it was all a bad dream, maybe, or was it, you know, one of those things. So the graphics, sounds, and interactions were all subpar in my opinion. And it ran okay, I guess. It was running at about a steady 45 frames per second on my 1060 GTX. Obviously, I would like 90 frames per second, especially since the graphics really aren't that great. But there's just an overall lack of polish that really brought down the experience for me personally so just everything was just a little rough around the edges just really feels like an early access game instead of being a full-fledged game and you can really tell it was a vr port just because the interactions are mostly point and click type interactions there are some nice moments in this game um, some maybe scary moments for some people. I really didn't get scared, but that's just me. I, I, like I mentioned before, it's really difficult for a game to get me scared. However, I can definitely see some people getting scared by this game. There are some dark moments and, you know, some weird stuff happens all around you. I just really think that they should have done a better job of getting the atmosphere correct and better sound work. It seems like they just throw some stuff at you every now and then, but it's just not set up properly. So for me, it just wasn't good 
level design, which keeps it from being as scary as it might have been otherwise. It's just too simple and some kind of cheap scares that they throw at you. But again, other people might be more scared than I was based on this type of game. But for me, I like more atmospheric games, uh, games that really build up the tension. And that was really never here. Also, your choices really don't matter. So you have to just go along with Momo. If you don't, you're going to die. And then you just have some tasks to do. And I got to this level and then I just got bored by the task. And so I just decided to stop playing. I wasn't really having fun. And it was just a little too rough around the edges. I think with more polish, I probably would have kept playing. But just it really feels like this is a VR port and it just needs to be a smoother experience in VR. I didn't like how they had some like platforming sections here. And, you know, I died from falling down. In fact, the main menu area is kind of weird. There are several holes in the floor and you just fall down. And then you come back to the main menu starting area. It's just kind of annoying. And I kind of feel like maybe the developer is trying to troll you. But, you know, that's not really a good idea if you want to charge people for your game. Overall, I just don't think the quality is there for 15 bucks. This is, to me, tops 10 bucks. And I'd give it a neutral recommendation. However, other people might enjoy this game more. Like I said, if, especially if you're into this Momo uh, meme, you might enjoy it more than I did. The good news is the passcodes are randomized, although the locations of several objects are not. So if I have to score it, I would give it a 4.5 out of 10. It's a really close call. I almost gave this a neutral recommendation. And like I said, it's not a horrible game. There are some enjoyable aspects to it. It was just too rough around the edges for me, and I just couldn't enjoy it because of that. Anyways, I'm Fast Lawyer. Thank you for watching. If you liked my video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And do whatever Momo tells you to do. Goodbye.